The United States has said it will allow its Western allies to supply Ukraine with advanced fighter jets, including American-made F-16s. This move will be a big boost for Kyiv. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said President Joe Biden told his colleagues at the G7. U.S. troops will also train Kyiv pilots to use the jet, Sullivan said. Ukraine has long wanted an advanced jet, and President Volodymyr Zelensky hailed the move as a historic decision. Legally, the U.S. must approve the re-export of equipment purchased by its allies. This step will also pave the way for other countries to send their stock of S-16s to Ukraine. The U.S. and its allies have so far been focused on providing Ukraine with the weapon systems and training needed to launch offensive operations this spring and summer, Sullivan said. We have now moved into talks on upgrading Ukraine's air force as part of our long-term commitment to aid Ukraine's self-defense. As the training begins in the coming months, we will work closely with our partners to determine when the aircraft will be delivered, who will deliver them, and in how many. Ukraine has repeatedly asked its Western allies to send jets to help its fight against Russia. President Zelensky said the jets would greatly strengthen our troops in the skies. He added that he hoped to discuss a practical implementation. Previously, the U.S. was skeptical about helping Ukraine with modern fighter jets, at least in the near future. They focused on providing military support on the ground. Several NATO member states have expressed concern that sending jets to Ukraine would be seen as a step that escalates the war and risks direct confrontation with Russia. Several senior U.S. military officials who have spoken to the BBC have questioned whether Western-supplied fighter jets will dramatically change the conflict, while Russia's massive air force alone is struggling to gain air superiority and multiple ground air defense systems. And in February, President Joe Biden told reporters he was excluding for now the option of sending advanced warplanes to Ukraine. But Sullivan told reporters the U.S. had been sending weapons to Kyiv as needed on the battlefield, and the decision to pave the way for the delivery of the fighter jets signaled that the conflict was entering a new phase. Now they've delivered everything we said we would send, so we are putting Ukraine in a position to make progress on the battlefield through counteroffensives. We have reached a moment where it is time to look ahead and say what Ukraine will need as part of the future army to defend against Russian aggression, he said. Sullivan also indicated that any jets Ukraine received would only be used for defense purposes. He added that the U.S. would not condone or support an attack on Russian soil. Ukraine has consistently indicated that they are ready to fulfill that, he said. And then countries had to agree to supply the jets. The F-16 is widely used by a number of European and Middle Eastern countries, as well as the U.S., which is still producing the aircraft. Who is willing to supply the jets is the next key question. Britain, the Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark also welcome the U.S. move. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said in a tweet, The UK will work closely with the U.S. and the Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark to give Ukraine the air combat capability it needs. Britain does not have S-16s in its own air force. Denmark announced that it too would now be able to support pilot training, but did not confirm whether to send the jets to Ukraine. The Danish Air Force has 40 F-16s, around 30 of which are operational. Earlier this week, British military police officer Rishi Sunak and Dutch military police Mark Rutt said they would form an international coalition to provide fighter jet support for Ukraine. Sunak said Britain would set up a flight school to train Ukrainian pilots. French military police Emmanuel Macron said his country was willing to do the same, but would not send jets. Some opinion against delivering the jets has centered around maintenance issues, with former NATO official Dr. Jamie Shi saying the jets required extensive maintenance after almost every battle. But officials say they need up to 200 jets to match Moscow's air power, which is estimated to be five or six times greater than Kyiv's. Zelensky notably has asked his allies for the F-16. First, built in the 1970s, the jet can reach twice the speed of sound and can engage targets in the air or on the ground. Despite being outdone by the more modern F-35, the F-16 is still widely used. Experts say modern warplanes like the F-16 will help Ukraine strike behind Russian lines. 